right, friends, today we're gonna draw another LOL doll. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. We hope you're gonna follow along with us. Which one are we drawing? Bon Bon. Bon Bon, yeah, she's super cute. She's got a lot of details and she's wearing glasses. Mm -hmm. She's gonna be a lot of fun. So we hope you're gonna follow along with us. You got a marker and some paper. Now at the very end, we're gonna do what with okay. this? Yeah, we're gonna open it. So we hope you're excited. We're gonna do it at the very end, so be sure to stay mm -hmm. till the very end. You ready to start? Yeah. Now we've already drawn an LOL doll and we'll leave a link where you can check that one out. And we're gonna use a lot of the same steps, especially for the eyes. We're gonna yes. draw two circles and we're gonna draw them right here in the middle of our paper. And the first circle we're gonna draw kind of small because this is the pupil or the dark part of her eye. And we wanna leave some space in between so that we have room for her glasses. glasses. We're gonna draw glasses on this one. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. So you probably are gonna draw them really small, but that's okay. We're gonna draw them different, and the most important thing is what? To have fun. Yeah, to have fun. So if your drawings don't look exactly like ours, it's okay. Now up here in the top right, or top left I mean, we're gonna draw a small circle. This is for the light shining in our eyes. Then we're gonna color in the big circle, but leave the little one white. Now we're gonna draw the iris to her eyes. You wanna make sure that you're drawing yours really, really small so that you have room for her glasses. So up here at the top, we're gonna to draw a circle that comes down. Look how I come down lower at the bottom. Is that cool? Yeah. And we're gonna do the same thing over here on this eye. Come down lower and then back around and touch up at the top. Okay. Now we're gonna repeat the same step for the very outside of her eye. So we're gonna do one more circle that comes all the way around to the bottom and then back up and touches at the very top. That's a big eye. Yeah, it's a big eye. You wanna keep yours small though so they have room for those glasses. Okay, now on mine, I made it a little thicker on the top and that's for eyelashes, but let's draw the actual eyelashes on the side. So we're gonna draw a little A and then color it in. I'm gonna draw the little A over here on this side also. Yep, and then on the other side. Then we're gonna draw four more smaller eyelashes right under it. Okay. And draw them really small. Two, three, three four. four. Two, three, four. <laughs> Now we can draw her glasses, and this is the part that's gonna be a lot of fun. But it might be a little tricky because you drew your eyes close together, yeah. but I bet you can do it. I bet it'll be okay. So right over each eye, we're gonna draw a curve, and it touches at the very top of her eye. So there's one little curve that goes over the top, and I'm gonna draw another curve that goes over the top of this eye also. And I drew them. You don't wanna make her look angry, but I think I did. <laughs> she looks a little angry. <laughs> But she won't win. She won't win. Yeah, we're going to finish the glasses. glasses. Yeah, she'll look just fine. <laughs> yeah, she looks angry. Now we're going to draw a U to connect. So watch this. We're going to draw a U. It's going to come down right underneath her eye and then back up. And this is for the inside shape of her glasses. And then I'm going to draw that same U over here on the side. Now we're going to draw the top of her glasses. So we're going to draw a line that goes curves over the top comes down and then curves back over the other eye also and extends past her eyes. And then it gets lower when it's Yeah, and there's low right in the middle. Good, now on each side we're gonna draw a little line down. This is for the side of her glasses. Then we're gonna draw the bottom of her glasses. This is a tricky line, but watch this. We're gonna follow the shape of our glasses and then right here, we're gonna come up and draw the nose, comes up, back down, and then we're gonna keep going all the way around to the other side. How do you do that? Is that tricky? <laughs> well, it's just practice. I bet you can do it. It'll look just fine. We're gonna follow around just like this, come up, back down, and then connect to the other side. It's like a roller coaster. Right? Yeah, it does. It looks like a roller coaster. You could even make the noise like you're going on a roller coaster. <laughs> That's exactly what it sounds like. <laughs> now let's draw her mouth. And we're gonna draw a little S line. So it's gonna curve down, up, and then back down. Almost looks like- The troll one. Yeah, I like the troll one. And the other one. Yeah, and the other, LOL. the other LOL doll. Yeah, this is the same mouth. And she looks like she's kissing. And that's because she drinks her bottle, right? Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna draw a U at the 
bottom. <laughs> yep, and then we can color in that little shape. Now we're gonna draw her lips. So we're gonna draw a curve that goes over the top of her mouth and also a curve that goes underneath her mouth. She's making kissy lips. Mm. Yeah. Now we're gonna make the little nose and it's just an upside down U right above her mouth. Next, we're gonna draw her face and also her hair. So we'll start right here on her glasses and we're gonna draw a U and the U is kind of curved but it's also kind of a box. So we're curving around. And if we don't make it really Yeah, you don't wanna make box. it look like a robot. <laughs> So she's got round cheeks, but see how it's kind of flat down here at the bottom. Okay. Like that? Yes, perfect. Just like that. Oh, I love her chubby cheeks. You did it perfect. <laughs> <laughs> now let's draw the top of her head. We're going to draw a big rainbow line. It's going to start right here on her glasses. We're going to come up over her head. She's, she's so going to look funny. She's so I know. And then we're going to curve back down. <laughs> we'll give her hair in a second. So start there. Draw a big upside down U or a rainbow line. Oh, I love it. <laughs> All right, let's draw her hair so, so she doesn't look funny. We're going to draw an A shape right here. So we're going to draw zigzags for her bangs. Okay, now we're going to draw a bigger one that comes up a little higher. Then we're going to draw one more that comes down. It's going to come down further in front of her glasses. See, right, right over her nose. Yeah, and then we're going to do a little one. Let's do a little, a little A. Now we're going to do another little A that comes up, but this one's going to curve really far over her eye. Yes. Okay, now watch this one. This one's going to be tricky. We're going to do an S curve that curves like this all the way up to the top of her head. So curve one way and then back the other way. Yeah. Now right here on the end, we're going to do a little curve that comes down to finish her hair. Okay, now on her bangs, we need to draw the hairlines. So we're gonna draw uh, one hairline that comes down and it connects right, right to here. So we're gonna start up at the top. Okay, now we're gonna draw another one that comes down to the other side. Let's add, a, let's add two more. One, and I'm gonna add one that curves the other way also. Good. I did not realize there was a line. Right? Oh, that's okay. You went a little past and that's, it's fine. That's okay. Now we're going to draw more on the left side. So we're going to draw a big one that curves down and you want to stop at the zigzag. Yeah. And then we're going to add a couple more. So I'm going to add one that comes down here and then one more way over here. Now on the side, let's, I'm going to add two right here and I'm going to add two on this side too. Great, now Bonbon has two little bonbons on top of her head, right? Bonbon. Bonbons. So right here on the top, we're gonna draw the side of her hair. So we're gonna draw an S curve, curves right next to her head. You see that? So we're gonna start right here and we're gonna draw a curve that stays really close. I love the shape of your little LOL doll. Bonbon's head is so cute, bon the way you drew it. Bon. Okay, now we're gonna draw a curve that comes down to her glasses. It's gonna come down and then connect to her glasses. Okay, now on this one, let's draw some short lines for her hair inside of this shape, all the way down. Now let's repeat that same shape on the other side. We're gonna draw an S curve that stays really close to her head, and then it's gonna curve all the way down to her glasses. Yeah, and then you can stop. And then you're gonna curve down to here. Okay, now on this shape, we're going to do the same thing. Let's add little lines for her hair all the way across it. Now we're going to simplify her hair up here. We're going to draw the big bonbons. We're going to draw a big circle, but it's not really a circle. It's just half of the circle. There's That's one. one She's going to kind of look like Mickey ears, but we're trying to make these simple. We're trying to make her hair a little easier to draw. There we go. And then draw another one over here. Looks like she's at Disneyland. Yeah, she's got her Mickey ears on. <laughs> We're going to add more lines inside and it'll make her look like hair. <laughs> okay, now let's draw. We're going to draw a curve. Watch this. We're going to draw one curve and then another curve right below that one. 
Yes, and then another one right below it. And then let's draw one. That's okay. And then we're going to draw one curve going this way. Now we're going to repeat those same steps over here. We're going to draw one big curve and then another curve right below it. And then that little curve right up here at the top. Now we're going to draw a lot of little lines to connect the other direction. So right down this middle, we're going to draw, watch this, we're going to draw curve lines this way. And then I'm going to curve the other way down. Is that cool? Mm -hmm. So switch them. So curve one way and then the other way. That's going to make her hair look really 3D. Now let's repeat that same step over here on this side. I'm going to curve this way. And then right in the middle, I'm going to switch and curve the other way. Now let's make those same curves down here on this second row. So curve one way and back the other way. We'll do it on the right side. Now up at the top, we got to add two curves going this way. And then I'm going to add two curves going the other way. And then do the same thing over here on this side, two curves curving this way and the other way. Was that a lot of fun? Yes. We drew her head, except we're missing her ears. So let's draw a little C over here and a backward C on the right side. <laughs> now inside of her ears, let's draw a small curve and then a smaller C. Little curve. Small C, and then we're going to do it backwards over here. Small curve, backwards C for the inside of her ear. All right, Hallie, we did it. We've finished drawing her head, and she looks awesome. Now we need to draw her body next, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to start by drawing her little jacket. We're going to draw two lines that come down from her chin. I like her jacket. I love her jacket. I love all the different colors, too. Okay, now we're going to connect at her waist. Now let's draw her dress. We're going to draw two diagonal lines that come out to the side. And we're going to leave some of the details out to try and keep the lesson a little easier. Now we're going to connect right here. We're going to draw a wavy line to connect the two diagonal lines for the bottom of her dress. Okay, now we need to draw all the details on her dress. Mm -hmm. And what does she have down here at the bottom? Her bows. Yeah, little bows. So we're going to draw a circle first for the inside of the bow, the knot. Then we're going to draw two lines sticking out on each side. Okay, now let's connect each side to finish the bow. Whoop, whoop, whoop. and whoop. Now she has two more bows, so let's draw them over here. I'm gonna draw right next to this one, and I'm gonna draw another one over here, and we're gonna repeat the same steps. So I'm gonna draw those two diagonal lines sticking out, and we are going fast, right? Because yes. we're repeating the steps, but you guys can pause the video to take that extra time. And we're gonna connect each of the ends to finish the bow. Aww. We did it! She's got three little bows on her dress. Yes. Now let's draw the top of her jacket. We're gonna draw a Y. So we're gonna start here, and we're gonna draw a curve that comes down like that. That looks like a Y. Yeah, we're gonna, and then we're gonna do one more. Look at that, that looks like a backwards Y. Now that looks like one. Yes. Go backwards. Yeah, but backwards. <laughs> Next, let's draw our collar. We're gonna draw a W. Down, up, down, up. Does that look like a sideways W? And an M. Oh, it does. Upside down or sideways too, yeah. And we're gonna do that same shape over here on the other side. Now we can draw a line down here and a line down on the other side. She has so many colors on her jacket, it's awesome. <laughs> And then let's draw one line that cuts across all of that. What wow, the? so many details, I love it. Now she also has a t-shirt underneath her jacket. So let's draw a little U right here. All right, you ready to draw her legs? Yes. We're gonna draw two lines right down the middle. I'm gonna draw a little longer. And then on the outside, so this is the middle of her legs. Oh. That's okay. You know what? Just draw two more lines over here for her other leg. And you can keep her legs nice and easy and simple. And I'm going to show our art friends a, another way to draw. Okay. Perfect. That's 
I love it, Hadley. You did such a great job. Okay, now I'm gonna draw, watch this, a little curve that curves in and then back out for little chubby legs, little baby legs, and curve that curves in and back out. Now down here at the bottom, we're gonna draw those little marshmallow shape for shoes. And you can do this too. So we're gonna draw a little oval to connect the outside to the inside. No marshmallow shoes. <laughs> and then for her knees, let's draw two little dots for the dimples on her knees. Down at the bottom of her shoes, we're going to draw the, her sole. So we're going to draw another line that comes around the bottom for her shoes. Her sole. Her soles. Her soles. I love your legs. They look really <laughs> cute. And they're skinny. <laughs> now we're going to draw, we're going to draw the little straps on her, on her legs. So let's draw two lines that are diagonal going this way and two lines going the other way on her other leg. Then we're gonna draw two lines going across. There's a lot of little, little lines in this one. That's what makes it so much fun to draw. Yep. Yeah, and then if you can, if you can fit it in there, I'm gonna draw a diagonal line, two diagonal lines that go behind. I, think I can. You can draw, you probably draw it in that little corner right there. And I'm gonna draw it over here on this side. There. We got it. We did it. We finished her legs. Now, what is she missing? Her arms. Her <laughs> arms. And we're gonna draw those really simple also. We're just gonna draw a J line that comes down and curves back in. Now, this isn't really what her arms look like, but we're trying to keep the steps nice and simple. Mm -hmm. All right, and then we're gonna draw that nice little chubby arm on this side also. Okay, she's missing. She, we gotta draw the little sleeves up here at the top. <laughs> Heather, we did it, we finished Bonbon bon and she turned out amazing. I love how she looks. Now, we're all done, we're finished, so we're gonna put our markers down and what do we still need to do? Color her. Yeah, we need to color her. Now we're gonna use the computer and Photoshop to add the color, but you guys at home can pause the video to match the same color and use whatever you want. You could use oil pastels, colored pencils. And paint. Yeah, you can even paint her. And I really love how she looks all colored in. So I hope you're going to take that time to add the color. Mm -hmm. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing bon bon. Yeah, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun. Remember, it's okay if your drawings don't look exactly like ours because the most important thing is to have fun. Yeah, to have fun. Now, we're going to have a lot more fun, aren't we? What yes. are we doing? We're going to open this, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes! These things have different layers in them and they have lots of little pieces for the doll, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this first layer, you just pull this thing off? Yeah. Is that how you do it? I remember from last time it was kind of hard. I can help this you. This one's harder. It's difficult, huh? Oh. Don't break your fingernails. <laughs> Perfect. Perfection, there you go. Perfecto. All right, pull that off. Yeah, you can just put that off to the side. And then the yeah. first layer, what do you usually get in the first layer? A message. A message? Secret message. A secret oh, message right. with, yeah. they look like emojis, don't they? Yeah, just throw that off to the side. Woo. Okay. Okay, which one? Don't cheat. What do you think that is? Tea party. Tea party. Oh, you're so right. You cheated. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do the next layer. Okay. Well, okay, the next layer usually is the stickers, right? Yeah. There's the zipper. Uh, uh. Now this is what it tells you it could do, right? It, color it might change, color change. Spit, pee, cry. <laughs> Tinkle <laughs> or cry. Pee. Okay, do the next layer. Where's that? Layer? Oh, here it is. All right, now in the next layer, what do you get? Um, what I do think you, a bottle. What do you usually get in the next layer? A bottle. Yes. A bottle. Can you rip it? Can... There you go. Hey. Oh, well, there, there it is. is. Oh, look, but it's not pink anymore. It's kind of this Ooh. green color, blue green color. All right, open that up. Let's see what's inside. Yes, it is the bottle. <gasps> oh, that's squishy, huh? <laughs> that's how you feed the baby or baby food? <laughs> oh. oh. All right, do the next layer. It's not standing up. There we go. <gasps> you got it. Perfection. Perfection. Yeah. Another one. Okay, which one's, what's in this one? Usually this like shoes. Or something. Okay, open it up. There you go. Yeah. Oh. oh, it kind of matches the ball, doesn't it? Yeah. It's kind of the green color. Oh, those are cute. Squish them. Squish, squish. It's hard. <laughs> All right, put those off to the side. Let's see what's in the next one. Final layer, isn't it's it? so tiny. Oh, tiny little zipper. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
All right, do it. Oh, there you go. This one has the cool compartment at the top. Oh, I really like the, the, the color of that. Yeah, oh, that's awesome. I think this is... What's usually in this one? I don't know, actually. Oh! Is this her clothes? This is her clothes. <gasps> she, has, she has a top and a bottom. Little shorts, and look, she's got a little, like, jacket that's around her waist. And, and the Oh, top. and the matching top. Oh, that's gonna look really cute. This is gonna I like the so color. Cool. Look, the colors match her shoes, too. I think she's like a soccer player or something. A soccer player? Okay, open it up. I can't wait. Three, two, one. Explosion. <laughs> <laughs> and we got the checklist too. Yep. So I'm gonna open this up so we can see which one we got. What her name a is. Headband. Headband. You can probably tell <gasps> what. <gasps> cat ears. That's super awesome. It's that one. Oh, troublemaker! You got the troublemaker. How perfect! It matches your personality. Okay. Troublemaker. Oh, look at the color of her hair. What the? Oh my goodness. She's oh, she's naked. naked. She's, she's naked. naked. Wait. She's naked. Oh. <laughs> Don't show her our friends. She's super naked. All right, you need to put her clothes on. Oh, her buns. Look, her head's turned around backwards. <laughs> Those are her buns. <laughs> okay, all right, let's put her arms down. And oh, she's got cat. Look, she's got little whiskers too. Put, on put her you. shorts on super fast. Burp. <laughs> Look at her little belly button. She's got a little Show cute me. belly button too. I think it's right. supposed to scoot Pull them up. up over her buns. Ah. Her buns are showing. Wait. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Go. <laughs> Pull your pants up. <laughs> this is thing. ridiculous. It doesn't fit over your cheeks. <laughs> there we go. All right, we got it over. Uh. Oh, she's safe now. Well, kind of. Put her top on. Oh, wow. wow. Hold her like this in your hand. Yo, she looks so cute. I love her little, her clothes, and I love that they match her hair. And she's even got the whiskers to match her little cat ears. How do these go on? Do they go, oh, they go behind her ears. And they go in the little, little spot, spot. right there. <gasps> Whoa. Her shoes. She looks cute. Oh, definitely got to get her shoes on there. Uh. Pop. Oh, man, she looks really cute. She looks so awesome, Hadley. You got her shoes on there. Now what do we need to do? We, we need, need to, to feed her a We need to feed her. I got some water. Wait. What? Down here? Oh, she's got a little blue next to her name. What does that mean? Popular. popular. It's a popular. Popular one. Okay, pop, pop. now we got some ice water, and that's to see if she changes color too. Let's see. I, you know what? I can tell what she does. I have a feeling I know what she does. What does she do? I can do? see it in her eyes. I think she cries. I think she cries too. Feed her your food. Hey. Eat your food, baby. Oh. <laughs> Squeeze it in. It oh, 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 exploded all over the table. <laughs> did you get enough water in there? I think you did. Try yeah. it. Try squeezing her head. Oh, oh there okay. you go. Try squeezing her head. See what she does. Wait, you got it. Oh! oh! <laughs> she shoots water out of her eyes. <laughs> it's like laser beams shooting out. <laughs> When she cries, she shoots laser beams out of her eyes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, do we need to see if she changes color? How yeah. do you do it? You just dip it in the ice water? Okay. Does she change colors? No. I don't think she does. Not all of them do? Nope. Did she? Oh, she doesn't. I don't think she does, does she? Nope. Uh, that's okay. Freezing. It's freezing cold water. <laughs> I don't think they meant to do that. <laughs> we hope you had a lot of fun watching us open this LOL doll and draw her. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Oh, man, you got water everywhere. <laughs> if you had fun following along in this lesson, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the circle. Then you can click the bell to get notified every time we upload new videos. I've also picked out these two other lessons I thought you'd really enjoy. Don't forget to take a photo of your child's finished artwork and share it on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter because we want to see how awesome it turned out.